Oh, heavens. Let's look at her and see what she's saying. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? Kinda. What else can we click on? What's this thing? Wish this gas can was full. Well, I guess we'll need that then, won't we? Uh, let's see. What else can I take? What else can I pilfer? What's this? Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. Hmm. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Hmm. Mink Ranch, you say? What else we got here? I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> Don't think that's what uh, what I meant, but it's still pretty funny nonetheless. Come on, is there anything else I can click on? Actually, I think there is something else I'm supposed to find here. It's just a matter. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. And that's why we need it. We need the hose, we need the gas, so that we can get gas. But first and foremost, let's get out of here and oh, do some good. searching. Oh, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Oh, it's the reporter that saved me. Wonderful. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. <laughs> Very considerate of you. Would want a picture of me bleeding. It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Gross. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess somewhere between here and Corville. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Uh, hmm. Um, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. <laughs> I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. <laughs> drive safe now with my bike. Anything else you want to talk to? Yet. No. Anyway, let's get out of here and get let's get our mission started. And I'm walking. Yes, indeed. I'm Where's? Hey! Had a car out the whole time. That little brat. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> uh, that's so awesome. Okay, so we got some things to find. We got a torch. We got... Uh, oh, oh, wait, this is the uh, the trailer across the way. Uh, I guess maybe he would know something. Uh, Maureen was telling us that... What was his name? Todd? Look at our little sprite lock. What the hell's going on down there? All right, knock, knock, mother... <laughs> Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. Art? I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Oh, get out of my <laughs> face. <laughs> I love it. It's actually quite satisfying. Let's take a look at this bum. This view defines true beauty. Ugh, am I right? Looks like a cabinet to me. Well, let's open the cabinet, shall we? And what is this? It's a lockpick. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. And he wishes this gas was full. Wish this gas can was full. Right. Oh, shit. Let's close that. There we go. What else we got in this weird little shack? 
Oh, shit. This is his art? I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Well, then you're just a strange man. Hey, wait a minute. Better hustle this back to Mo. Yeah, I know what that is. But I think there's actually something else I need to get here before I touch that. Let's go up. What else we got here? What's this? His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. <laughs> Very mature. Oh, where the hell? He's, he's supposed to have some kind of, uh, like a refrigerator here, and I just can't seem to, well, see it. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Oh, there it is. So it's just that it, it's just that it doesn't really look fridgy, that's all. So we open up the fridge, look inside. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Well, how about both? We'll take that, and then we'll make our way down. Man, back in 1994 when I was playing this game, I had such trouble because of things like that. Like, So I would just click on everything, absolutely everything, which I should have actually done in the first place. But anywho, let's get the torch and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Okay, let's go get some gas. I know how to get some gas. Let's go get some gas. Now, she said there was something about some giant tower full of gas. So that should be a no-brainer, right? And as you can see up here, in this, area, this general area, where there's a giant tower. Look at me run, man. It's got legs of steel. Must be all those Jane Fonda workout tapes. Yeah, I guess those were still around in 1994. You gotta think 1994 style. You gotta keep with that mentality. Oh boy. Okay, so there's, there's a bit of business going on here. I guess we don't really want to set off any alarms, so let's just look around. Let's not touch anything. Tough looking padlock. Oh, hmm, padlock, you say? It's a lockpick. Well, one plus one does equal two sometimes. Use that to sneak on in. And we are in like dinner. Okay. So, that giant tower over there. What's this thing up here? Or this thing over here? Oh, something for me to hide behind. Good to know, since I'm about to set off an alarm. Check it out. It's like, oh, I'm just going to climb up this uh, little gas thing here. And, oh, God! I'm setting off the bells and whistles. Let's get the heck out of here. So we want to hide behind here for the time being. So that nobody will see us. Oh, God, here comes the po! The police! The fuzz, the boys in blue, the uh. Coming down for a closer look. Why am I making this more dangerous on myself? Friggin' fantastic. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. <laughs> well, now that the coast is clear, let's get on out here. And we're not exactly gonna get the gas from the source that we originally wanted. We're going to be getting it from our very fine boys at the police academy. Which it kind of feels like sometimes. Anywho, set this up here. 
Got to remember my days in college when uh, things were tough and I needed gas. So let's siphon this bad boy. Gross. Ooh, it feels so Step deliciously elite. Yard. Hey, Sam, get him. Where? Over there. Quick, you go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Oh, God. This is everything I don't need. Why am I bringing more heat on myself? Why, people? <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Alrighty, I think I've done enough for one day. So I think I'm actually going to call this a recording here. But trust me, I will be getting back into this far more because I'm really enjoying this game. I enjoyed it since I first played it in 95 when uh, during my uh, exams, or my not my exams, my uh, test time at uh, when I was in grade 8. So I hadn't really had uh, yearly exams yet. Um, and I had a lot of off time. I would go to the computer labs and I would stick this bad boy in. Um, because it was being passed around the school because everybody loved it, and I played it, and I beat it. It only took me two weeks of solid play. So anyway, I'll get back into this more uh, maybe next uh, next bunch of videos, but for now, it's Storm Gideon time. See you guys next time. We're playing Full Throttle. Oh, yeah. Step into a Slim Jim.